Hey everybody, so the Pixel 4a got its second Android update last month that did bring some of the fixes. And even after that, issues like the battery life and reduced performance were still there. So unlike most of the brands, Google did take care of most of those bugs, at least on paper, with this December 21 security update. And the last one for this year. So here is a changelog for various Pixel devices. So in this video, let's have a quick look at the Pixel 4a after this update, as I have been testing it out for some days now. And to be honest, I did not want to share only the changes, but a real world test as well. So let's see how well the device performs in day to day usage. But before we get to all that, please make sure to tap on that subscribe button and press that bell icon if you haven't already. And in case you wish to watch this video in Hindi language, here is a card to the BitTech Hindi channel as well. And you can watch it over there. Starting off with the usual benchmark tests, as it gives a rough idea on things. Well, on the last version on Geekbench, the Pixel 4a used to score 508 in single core and 1505 in the multi core score, which was a small drop as compared to Android 11. But after this December update, the device now scores 531 in single core and 1502 in the multi core score. And it looks like things are back on track now. Also, on the Android 2, the device had a score of 346,000 before, and now after this update, the device has a score of 341,000 approximately, which is slightly lower than before. But as usual, the real world usage tells it all. Overall, the performance has definitely improved quite a bit in the real world as well. And I can say that the app animations are less jittery now, and the app load times are a bit improved as well. The device is able to handle multitasking quite well, and I can say the same for the battery life also. Though it is still not like on Android 11 level, but it's still kind of great. So now I'm finally getting more than 6 hours of screen on time with medium usage. And this used to be around 5.5 hours with the last version. So in that sense, yes, it has improved. And after updating, give it a couple of days to adapt. So in terms of overall usage and performance, the device is doing slightly better now. And one small tip, if you want the device to feel a little snappier, then reduce the animation scale to 0.5x by going to the developer options. And in case you don't know where they are, well, you can enable them by going to settings and tap on build number 8 times. There are also a bunch of new features with this update. And the first one is with the now playing features that we all love a lot. So now you can mark any song as your favorite right from your lock screen. And this is such a nifty and helpful feature to have. You can also search in the list of songs that it recognized till now. So you don't have to go through the long list of songs that your phone might have heard in a marriage. We also have the power button customization now, and with this, you can basically control the long press gesture to invoke the Google Assistant, and you can control its sensitivity, which is helpful in some cases. There is also a new sound amplifier application that is particularly useful for those who have hearing impairments, and this one, as the name tells, will amplify the conversation around while reducing the background noise, and this is a helpful feature for those who really need it. Lastly, the mobile data tile has better access now and has been one of the most annoying things of Android 12. Thankfully, you can turn on the mobile data now right from the lock screen and the tile is also called internet instead of Wi-Fi like before. So more clarity and a bug fix. Now about the camera application, well there are some neat features that it got but those aren't a part of this update and features like top shot and portrait mode and night side are there on the Pixel 4a now among other stuff. So that's a good thing as well. There is also a bug that some people faced with notifications and the screen turns black for them. Though I haven't faced it till now, but yes, do let me know in the comment section if you faced it too. Apart from this, I did not find any other issue for now, but if I do by any chance, I'll update you guys in the comment section down below. So now if you want to install Android 12 on your Pixel 4a, then yes, you can definitely go for it now as it seems pretty stable with a good battery life and performance. Though it can still use some more optimization, but I would still consider it as a usable version for now. And I'm quite hopeful that Google will improve it even more with updates. And that's pretty much it for now. So if you end up liking this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you can stay up to date. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.